Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the PG admin, which is a Postgres SQL tool which can be connected with Odoo. So we are not going to directly connect PG admin and Odoo. So we will connect PG admin with the Postgres SQL, and you know Postgres SQL is the database of Odoo. So using PG admin, we can visualize all the database tables, and if we need to execute some query directly to the Odoo database, that is underneath Odoo we know the database is Postgres SQL so if we need to execute some direct edit in the table we can done by using the PSQL sorry PG admin so currently in my system uh, in the UI you are seeing Odoo version 12 which we are using for the development so in the all the Odoo development tutorials like hospital management we have used this database itself so if I go to the settings and if I activate the debug mode you can see my database name is Dave 12 so you can see my database name is Dave 12 and also in the system I have already installed PG admin so you can see this is the PG admin version 3 and if I search here PG you can see I have already installed two versions of PG admin that is PG admin 3 and PG admin 4 so you can either you can choose any of the version and install your system so I am just uh, familiar with our uh, sorry PG admin 3 so I will continue with the PG admin 3 in this video so PG admin is latest uh, version and you can just go with that so to install this PG admin what you have to do is that there is lot of tutorials is available over the net like how to install PG admin in Windows how to install PG admin in Ubuntu etc so for the Ubuntu users they can directly go to the terminal and type the command sudo apt get install PG admin 3 so if, if you are an Ubuntu user you can just access the terminal from here and once the terminal is opened you can just type sudo apt get install pg admin 3 like this you can install the pg admin sudo apt get install pg admin 3 and click on enter you can install the pg admin in the system so right now i'm not going to install this as i have already installed it so now we will go to the pg admin and let's configure the thing so earlier i have everything was configured and for making this video i have removed all the things and right now it will look like a freshly installed pg admin so once you install the pg admin and if you open the pg admin it will be like this so you have to connect to your host you can see add a connection to your server so I'll just click on here and here in the new server registration you have to specify a name so as my database is odoo 12 and it is my local host i will just give the name as odoo 12 local host you can give name as per your need like you can give your, your name itself like that there is no any naming convention you can give any name and in the host if the database is hosted in ser server like if you need to get the database of some server you can give the host ip address so as uh, currently i'm going to access my local host i will give the host as local host as it is in my system itself and the port number must be 5432 the port number of postgres square so that's done in the service you can keep it as empty maintenance db it will be postgres itself and then the, you have to specify username and password of the postgres user so for running odoo definitely we will create a user in postgres and then we will specify the username in the odoo conf file so right now this is my odoo tool and if i go to my conf file that is odoo tool and if i check odoo.conf you can see here you have db user and db password so my odoo 12 the db user is 12 odoo and its password is 12 odoo so if you don't know your username and password you can just directly go and check the postgres sorry odoo.conf file from there you will get the database user and database password that is 12 odoo so i'll just copy that and i will it enter it here that is my username is 12 odoo and my password is 12 odoo itself so i have entered the password and username just store the password no need of any color just group give it as server itself and just click on ok so once click on ok you will ask to click on ok so that's done so we are in error connecting to the database authentication failed for auto password authentication failed for is i think i have entered wrong password you can see fatal password authentication failed so i'll just re-enter the password to o -D -O -O. so i have entered the password once more and you can see it's got connected so earlier when i have typed there is some typing mistake that's why you are getting a fatal 
authentication error so once i enter the correct password everything is fine and we have connected with the oracle so suppose if you click on here you can see that a base table spaces group roles login roles etc so just click on this plus button and expand you can see all the database available and if you check 13 db hcc 8 acd cv adb store like that you will see all the database and if you check here dev 12 we are getting our database here that is dev 12 which is this database dev 12 so if i expand that dev 12 you can see under that you have got catalogs event triggers extensions schemas etc and just click on this schemas plus button click on public and under that you will have tables so if i go to the tables you can see in the dev 12 database you have around four five hundred and forty six database tables so you know once we create a model in the odoo front end like uh, if i go to the o custom iron path and if i take the om hospital and if i take the models and if i choose patient.py in this file we have created a class a new model that is class hospital dot patient so what does this do is that it will create a table in the postgres scale sorry postgres that is in the with the name hospital dot patient so let's check for that table so if i open that table you can see all the table inside the database that is you have got tables like account account and score account 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 tag like all the tables you can see and if i scroll down to see the h that is hospital related uh, pgr uh, tables where is h yeah you can see these are the tables that we have created from the code that is hospital appointment hospital appointments line hospital doctor hospital lab etc so let's click on hospital patient and if i you can see there are around 18 columns in the tables that is id name name sick gent age, age group patient name patient age notes these are the fields that we have entered or created from here these are the fields coming there so we have created it from the ui so you can see visualize all the database uh, fields uh, fields in the database uh, table then if you need to visualize the database content so right now if i go to the ui and if i go to hospital and then to the patients you can see right now we have around seven records in the table hospital dot patient and if i if you need to visualize all the data tables that is if you need to visualize the contents inside this table just select the table and just click on here so once you click on here you can see all the tables that you have got one two three four five six seven records which you are seeing here that is we have in the table we have got seven records that you can see here we have got seven records uh, with the name Odu Dave James Matt Allen uh, subscribe the channel Odu ABCD HA. these names you can see here that is where is the age yeah Odu Dave James Matt Allen subscribe the channel Odu ABCD HA. so everything you can visualize here also and if I scroll down here scroll down to the side you can see rest of the field also so like this you can easily visualize the database structure and view so if i come back to this screen suppose if i need to execute some queries you can just keep this selected and if you click on sql and if i write some sql queries uh, select select star from hospital patient so i just written a query and this is for fetching all the field values from the hospital patient table and once you enter the query you can just click on here that is execute query so once i click on here you can see you will get all the patient details as a result of the query suppose if i need to fetch the patient with the id 10 i can just give a work condition here work it equal to 10 and you have to re-execute the query you can see you are getting the result of the query that is record with id 10 so suppose if we take a case where we need to update something from the backend suppose if we have ended something wrongly that is suppose the age of the patient or the baby is 89 or something like if it is 520 and if it is around right we all know that a patient will not have age like of 520 because normally people won't live that much years so let's take a case we need to update this age from not from the ui we have to update it from directly to the database so what you can do is that 
suppose uh, the ID of the patient is 1. So what you can do is that either you can update using an update code from here or you can just directly go to the patient table and you can where is auto dev you can just directly edit edit it from here so i'll just reload the page yeah once i reload the page and there is answer there and throw yeah. once i reload you can see the 520 comes here which is which we have updated from here so right now we are going to update the age 520 from the database so i'll just change it to the actual age was uh, 52 have entered it there and i'll just click on here to save the record so how directly edited the value from here and if i reload the screen here you can see right now it's 520 and let's wait uh, to reload the screen so once the screen is loaded you can see the age has got changed into 520 so like this you can directly edit the value from the table itself so now i will change it to 60 okay save it 60 and if i re refresh the screen can see 60 is coming here so like this you can directly edit the database table values or you can just use sql query that is update table name you have to give hospital patient hospital patient set column name so i think the column age of page name is patient age patient age equal to 44 where id equal to 10 so we are going to update the age of the patient allen so right now you can see the age of patient allen is if i take the patient allen so if i remove this female filter and if you check allen you can see its age is zero so let's try to upgrade update the patient age so i just select this query as you have multiple queries here we have to select like this and just click on execute Query returned successfully. One row affected. 15 millisecond execution time. So right now, if I again select the query, you can see the age has got updated to 44, which you can see from the UI also. So if I open Allen, you can see the age has got updated to 44. So like this, we can update perform update operation using query, or you can directly go to the table and edit. So that's another use of using pgadmin so main use of the pgadmin is that you can visualize all the field values like all the database structure like you can get all the table you can like this you can visualize what's there inside each table so if i close this and if i come back to the main so like this in the database you can see all the database tables so that's all about this video so if you have any queries or any issues in installing the PG Army, please don't hesitate to contact us over the email. You can just uh, directly email us at orumates at gmail.com and ask your queries or you can just connect us over the social medias like Facebook, or LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. So that's all about this video. If you like our videos, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel to get notified all the upcoming videos. Thank you.